We are not even living in a capitalist model at all. We are living in crony capitalism, which paves the way to socialism and communism ultimately. Sometimes it paves the way to fascism. Right now, the public has bought socialism hook, line, and sinker, and that is the stepping stone through the crony corporatist environment that we have toward going to complete communism, getting people to bite the bait of socialism. I've talked about this ad nauseum on what on earth is happening and explained how it works politically. I think if you don't understand that, again, you're very naive or you have an incomplete data set and you don't have the information that you require to come to that con correct conclusion. I would recommend reading the book, None Dare Call It Conspiracy by Gary Allen. And I would also recommend the book, The Grand Chessboard by Carol Quigley and the book Tragedy and Hope by Carol Quigley. Then you'll understand how it really works from the horse's mouth. And very few people have ever read, read those books. So they have an incomplete data set. And it's not just those books, it's hundreds of others. Sometimes it's right from the white papers of the people conducting the control freak behavior that are telling you how they did it. I've told people many times on my show, the Satanists that I worked with in the, what other people might call covens or secret societies, they were called grottos in the groups that I worked with, were all too happy to tell you, we already control things, we own the police and the military, there are pets, they'll do anything we command them to do, like loyal dog servants. And this is what they called them out in the open, blatantly, you know. And uh, they were perfectly and completely open about that in private. Okay? Yeah, th this is the book right here. Check this one out, folks. If you haven't read it yet, if you don't understand what's written in this book, you understand very little about what's going on in the 3D world that we are living in today. None dare call it conspiracy by the former Senator Gary Allen. Okay? Written in the year 1970. Seven zero. I wasn't born when this book was written. And now all the things that were talked about it today are coming true. Everything. See, he doesn't discriminate. He's got the hammer and sickle as part of it. He's got the dollar as part of it. He's got, you know, the uh, Chinese star as part of it. You know, he's got the, 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 the communist the, uh, symbol that they use in, in Black Lives Matter here with the raised fist. He's got the UN symbol. He's got it all. He's got it all. It's all part of it. They control all of the sides, folks. It's a dialectic. I, I've, I've asked people at my own lectures who's read that book. You know, three hands go up in the room. It's pathetic. It's unacceptable. I've told people it's unacceptable. That you think you're informed and you haven't read none dare call conspiracy. You're not informed. You have a, a halfway understanding uh, in your opinion at best. You know, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it anymore. I'm going to tell people when they're ignorant. You, if you haven't read that book, you're pretty damn ignorant. You don't really understand how it works. You would have been drawn to that book if you were looking in the right places. This is part of the problem. People aren't even looking in the right places. You know, I, I, I say it to people all the time and it can sound as egotistical as you want to hear it. I, people who say, I really know what's going on in the world. And then somebody says, yeah, do you know the work of Mark Passio? Do you know the work of David Icke? Do you know the work of Jordan Maxwell? Do you know the work of Michael Tessarion? Do you know the work of Gary Allen? Do you know the work Carol Quigley put out there? Do you know, know the work of Manly P. Hall? And everybody goes, who the hell are any of those people? I don't care how egotistical it sounds. If you haven't come across my work by this point, you're not looking in the right places. Okay? If you haven't heard of the work of the men I just mentioned, you're not looking in the right places. You think you know, but you don't really know. It's called, you've sipped at the Pyrian Spring. Not slipped, you have sipped. You've taken a tiny little sip like this. You, you, here's, here's the fount of... E Here's the eternal fount of knowledge called the Pyrian Spring with all the knowledge in it. And you've done this. You've gone, listen, here's what happened. Yeah, I admit, I don't, I don't know anything. I'm the potential candidate or initiate, right? Who's, who's trying to learn how the world works. And you're going, I admit, I don't know that much, right? So here's all the knowledge that could be available. And here's what you're doing. Oh, yeah, now I know it all. Now I got it. I'm enlightened. I know what's going on in the world. 
instead of doing this. Now maybe you know a thing or two. Maybe. Maybe you need 10 of these. Maybe you need a thousand. Then you'll know a thing or two. Most people do the first thing. They take a tiny little sip and then they think they understand. And there's the old saying, a little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deeply or taste not the Pyrian spring. There, shallow drafts will intoxicate the brain, but only drinking largely will sober us again. That means you're going to be drunk with the illusion of knowledge if you take a little sip and you stop there. Again, in the Eastern tradition, this was what was called meeting the Buddha on the road to enlightenment. That means that he's a false Buddha and you are at a level of false enlightenment. You'll meet the Buddha at the end of the path when you really are enlightened and understand what's really going on. And if you haven't come to the total conclusion that the world is operating on a satanic agenda and it is a slavery system, then you have not drunk deeply from the Pyrian Spring. You're drunk on the illusion of knowledge and the illusion of being awake. This is what the people who are calling themselves woke are. The woke movement. You know, it's an illusion of being awakened. True awakening Study the 20 points that I put forward in an entire seminar called Streetwise Spirituality. Streetwise Spirituality. You know, not being wishy-washy or new agey or woo-woo about it. No. Getting it uh, to a deep level of understanding and being street smart about it. That's what it means to be really truly awakened. Look at those 20 points of awakening and then let's talk about what enlightenment is.